Most people think you need to spend a fortune or tinker endlessly to get great results from a large 3D printer. But the truth is, today's options are faster, smarter, and more beginner-friendly than ever if you pick the right one. In this video, we'll go through six of the best large-format 3D printers that give you serious build space, solid reliability, and features that actually make life easier. Whether you're printing cosplay helmets, big prototypes, or just want fewer size limits, there's something here for you. And stick around. Number one might surprise even experienced users, and number three has a hidden advantage that makes a big difference. Links and current deals are in the description. At number six, we have the Sovel SV06 Plus Ace. If you're looking to print big projects like helmets, armor parts, or larger models without breaking them into pieces, the 300 by 300 by 350 mm pill volume gives you plenty of room to work with. It runs on Clipper firmware, which means you get top speeds up to 500 mm per second, great for saving time on long prints without giving up too much detail. The Direct Drive Jewel Gear Extruder handles both stiff and flexible filaments like TPU, so you can make everything from durable brackets to squishy gaskets. It also features full automatic bed leveling using adaptive mesh probing, which is a fancy way of saying, you don't need to mess with paper or knobs before every print. Just hit start and go. And with the built-in camera, you can keep an eye on prints or catch early issues from your phone or laptop, whether you're in the next room or across town. The open source nature of the SV06 Plus Ace means it's fully customizable. You can tweak the firmware, add mods, or adjust settings just the way you like. It also works with multiple slicers and gets over-the-air firmware updates, so you're not locked into any one setup. Now, it's not all perfect. The case fan is on the louder side, so it's not something you want running overnight in a quiet room. And it's a bit bulky, so be sure you've got the space. This one's perfect for first-time large-format buyers who want speed and control, but don't mind rolling up their sleeves a bit. A great mix of power and freedom, especially at the price. If you're looking for something a little more refined and resin-based, Number 5 might catch your eye. At number 5, we have the Anycubic Photon Mono M7 Max. This one's a serious step up if you're interested in resin printing and need both space and precision. With a build volume that stretches past 300 mm in every direction, you can print large models in one piece or batch multiple smaller parts all at once. Perfect for things like full-scale helmets, tabletop armies, or detailed prototypes. The expected 14K monochrome LCD screen delivers much sharper resolution than older models, so prints come out with smoother surfaces and cleaner edges. Its dual Z-axis linear rails keep everything stable, especially for taller prints, and the Matrix UV light system spreads exposure more evenly, which helps reduce issues like banding or failed layers. It also includes auto-leveling for faster setup and an air filter to help reduce resin fumes during printing. Thanks to the monochrome screen, it also prints faster without sacrificing detail, making it one of the better time-saving options for large resin projects. It's also impressively quiet, which means you can run longer jobs overnight without it being a distraction. That said, resin still comes with its usual downsides. The cleanup process is messy and requires gloves, and the slicing software isn't quite as smooth or intuitive as what you get from competitors like Elegoo. Still, this machine is perfect for creators who care deeply about detail, especially for things like cosplay pieces, miniatures, jewelry, or even dental modeling. If clean resolution matters more to you than speed or convenience, this one delivers. But if you're leaning toward professional level dual extrusion and plug and play simplicity, number four is built for just that. At number four, we have the Ultimaker S5. This one's designed with professionals in mind, offering a balance of size, accuracy, and ease of use. With a build volume of 330x240x300mm, by by it's roomy enough for large mechanical parts, jigs, or batches of smaller prints without needing to stop and reload. What really sets it apart is the dual extrusion system. You can print with two different materials at once, like standard PLA alongside dissolvable support material, or mix colors without pausing mid-print. The swappable print cores make it quick to shift between fine detail nozzles and faster flow rates, depending on your project. Active bed leveling and the enclosed front help maintain temperature stability, which reduces warping and keeps prints accurate from start to finish. It also has an integrated camera and cloud-based controls, which means you or your team can monitor jobs and send prints from anywhere. The real strength of the S5 is in its consistency. Even on longer jobs or complex prints, it just works, and it runs quietly enough to sit in an office, lab, or workshop without being a distraction. On the downside, the price tag is definitely on the higher end. And while it can work with third-party materials, it performs best when paired with Ultimaker's official accessories and filaments. 
This printer is perfect for engineers, product designers, or serious hobbyists who value precision and a smooth, hands-off experience. The S5 delivers top-tier results without the usual trial and error. Up next is a newer player from Creality that's turning heads with its speed and smart layout. Meet number three. At number three, we have the Creality K2 Plus. This printer is built for users who want more room, more speed, and more control. With an estimated build volume of 350 by 350 by 400 millimeters, it gives you enough space to print full helmets, large-scale prototypes, or multi-part assemblies in one go, no slicing up your model just to make it fit. It likely runs on a Core XY or high-speed Cartesian motion system, which keeps the print head light and agile, especially when pushing faster speeds. The direct drive extruder paired with a 300 degrees Celsius nozzle gives you a wide range of filament options, including more advanced materials like TPU or even carbon fiber filled blends. Add in auto bed leveling and a dual Z axis for extra stability and your first layers stay flat and locked in, essential for big tall prints. A built-in camera with cloud-based remote control lets you manage jobs straight from your phone or browser. Where the K2 Plus really shines is its combination of speed and silence. You can run prints fast and not deal with the loud machine humming in the background. It also uses open source firmware, giving experienced users room to tweak and upgrade over time. That said, being a newer model, there's still a smaller online community and setting up Wi-Fi can be a bit fussy on your first try. This one's a great fit for power users or second-time buyers who want high performance and future-proof flexibility without jumping to industrial pricing. The K2 Plus delivers serious build volume, high speed, and open firmware flexibility in one package. If you want something even bigger and beginner-friendly, the number two pick is a safe and solid option. At number two, we have the Elibu Neptune 3 Max. If what you need is space, serious space, this one's hard to beat. With a massive 420 by 420 by 500 millimeter build volume, you can print full-size props, armor pieces, or industrial parts in one go without having to split and glue them later. It uses a direct drive extruder that handles both soft and rigid materials smoothly, so whether you're working with standard PLA or flexible TPU, it's got you covered. The 49-point mesh auto bed leveling helps ensure that your first layer goes down clean across the entire print surface, which is key when working with something this large. Dual Z-axis motors keep the print head stable, even at full height, and with silent stepper drivers, it can run quietly in the background. It also has power loss recovery, so if the power cuts out mid-print, you don't have to start over. One of the biggest advantages here is value. We get build area usually reserved for more expensive machines, but at a mid-range price point. The flexible build plate also makes it easy to remove finished prints without scraping or damaging them. On the flip side, it's not built for speed. The recommended print rate is around 180 millimeters per second, which is slower than some newer options. And it's a big machine, so make sure you've got enough table space to handle it. The Neptune 3 Max is ideal for anyone looking to print large, stable models without spending top dollar. It's all about size, reliability, and getting the job done. But if you want the same size with more speed, smarter features, and tighter detail, then number one is the clear winner. At number one, we have the Anycubic Cobra 2 Max. This printer offers the same massive 420 by 420 by 500 millimeter build space as the Neptune 3 Max, but with a big jump in performance. It's built for speed, with print rates up to 500 millimeters per second and acceleration reaching 10,000 millimeters per second squared, so you can get large jobs done a lot faster right out of the box. The Levi Q 2.0 auto leveling system uses 49 mesh points to make sure your first layer is laid down accurately every time, which really helps with print reliability. The direct drive extruder works smoothly with both flexible and rigid filaments, and the PE I-coated magnetic plate makes print removal simple. Just pop it off, bend the plate, and you're good to go. It also includes dual Z-axis motors and both filament runout and jam sensors, which are key for longer prints where a mistake halfway through would cost you hours. The Cobra 2 Max stands out for being extremely fast while staying simple to use. The setup is quick, the interface is clean and easy to understand, and it guides you through calibration in a smart, beginner-friendly way. On the downside, printing at full speed can sometimes lower quality slightly, so most users will find the sweet spot is around 300 to 400 millimeters per second. Also, it's a big machine that draws plenty of power, so it needs a solid setup space. This printer is perfect for anyone who wants top-tier size and speed without having to tinker or upgrade anything themselves. The Cobra 2 Max is fast, huge, and simple to use, a great all-in-one option for both new users and upgraders. Let's wrap it up with a few final thoughts. Thanks for watching. 
Hopefully, this list helps you narrow down the best large format 3D printer for your needs. Whether you're printing big props, functional parts, or full-size prototypes, there's a solid option here for every budget and experience level. If you're planning to grab one, let us know which one stood out to you in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this was helpful. We've got more buyer's guides, tutorials, and comparisons coming soon. Check the links in the description for current prices and any discounts. Happy printing!